So my name is Cardell McClam. We're coming from you from Bahamas now. Welcome to the Bahamas, where we're letting it snow at the Cardell McCam Fall Winter Fashion Show 2015. I am Anari Neely, and I have been with this show since its conception. I am so proud to be here, to have it now come to life, and to see everything flowing as a designer would have wanted to. So sit back, relax, as we're letting it snow, letting it snow, letting it snow in the islands. Hello, my name is Travis Sweeting. I'm editor-in-chief of Brother Magazine, and I'm here working with the Cadell McClams Fall Winter Collection as the business, business manager. And my job is to simply help everybody to be cohesive and make sure the expenses are running while um, selling tickets, etc. Like that. So that was my portfolio in getting the show together. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Gladstone Adley, and I'm here as a part of Cardell McClam Fall Winter 2016 collection titled Let It Snow in the Islands. My responsibility today is working as protocol and as pretty much the person responsible for making sure the event stays on time. And so my job tonight is gonna be to make sure that you guys have the best seats in the house, to make sure everybody is comfortable make sure that the show starts and ends on time and that you guys get exactly what you paid for. Hi, I'm Kanisha Knowles, CEO and lead stylist at The Style Diaries and my job at Cardinal McClam's Fall Winter Fashion Show is backstage coordinator. And as the backstage coordinator, I am responsible for hair and makeup, for models getting dressed, um, making sure the garments are intact, um, even though they've already been uh, designed and sewn by Carla McClam. Um, and so the main thing about backstage is making sure everything is ready for front stage with the actual show. And so my heaviest responsibility is making sure hair, makeup, and models are dressed on time so that the show can start on time. All right, so the, tonight's all about uh, Cardell's first show um, by himself, totally his production in Nassau, and um, I'm production coordinator, part production coordinator, and uh, it's just about bringing, making sure everything is flowing, everything's on time, everything's in place, making sure the models are doing what they need to get done, and clothes are fitting properly, making sure backstage persons are in place and you know that the show looks the best we can make it look. It's going to be quite an experience and we're looking forward to having everybody enjoy themselves. I am the brand coordinator for the fashion show, so I was responsible for uh, creating uh, a palette of advertisements and promotional items and things of that nature, branding the event, making sure it stays true to the vision of the designer in terms of aesthetics, what it looks like, what it feels like, what the experience is like when you come to the fashion show. Um, and the theme of the fashion show was um, let it snow in the island. Other than that, I just do whatever the designer tells me to do.
with Skyline Designs and I am the hair coordinator for today's show. Hair. It tends to be something that's very overlooked but it's a very important aspect of bringing everything together. It's like the icing on the cake. You know sometimes a look can be very simple but with the right hairstyle it just makes it boom. You know so that's my role in today's show. Hi, I'm a mod role, also known as Maddie Bone. Uh, my role on the Karel McClam for Winter Fashion Line's dream team is the artistic development and also providing an entertainment value to the entire production. It has been a daunting task, but I have taken it on bravely. Uh, we have lots of talent that is going to be displayed, adding uh, another layer onto the entire artistic experience that Carter McClam is trying to create tonight. My name is Michelle Ludor. I'm one of the models for Cardell McClam Fall Winter Collection 2006. And the theme is Let It Snow on the Islands. Okay. What is fun and rewarding about modeling? Um, the fun and rewarding part about modeling is actually to be a part of something bigger, to be a part of a revolution, to actually fit in for fit in for the designer, to be his canvas and bring his designs to life. How do you prepare for a modeling shoot? Um, well, basically, you prepare by basically mentally counting down what it is that you're going to do, prepare yourself, and base and install in yourself confidence, and just have fun backstage. Just relax. What are your goals as a model? Um, well, as a new model on the scene, my goal is to actually have a stronger walk and have more confidence when I actually present myself on the runway. Okay. What advice would you have for other aspiring models? For aspiring models, I advise you to to actually learn about yourself more because once you know yourself, you can actually enthuse that into your walk and then onto the runway. So if you're a fun and bubbly person, that actually gives off the energy when you're walking for that, hey, for that designer. I'm Cardell McClam. Okay. Uh, give me your definition of fashion. Fashion is a point of view. Uh, 
how does your style distinguish itself from the current fashion? How do my designs, I would say, distinguish itself? Um, I don't know. Because um, it's almost like sometimes you'll find where other designers accidentally pull or they pull from the same sources. They find the same things attractive. Especially if we're in the same region, then everyone will um, have certain commonalities. Um, and then it depends on the person's exposure, their process, and um, but it's it's art, and when art evolves, it evolves around someone, humanity, a broad a broad spectrum of people. So um, it varies. Um, yeah. Can you tell us some of the things that inspire you? What inspires me? Um, people, of course. Um, back in the day, they never inspired me, but um, recently, you have, recently I've come to the place where I now consider them because they matter. They are the buyers. Um, and I want public consumption at a certain level without compromise. And um, so people, it would be my life, what I experience. Um, and those are two good inspirations, especially within this collection. Can you tell us some of your inspirations for the designs you created for this particular show? So it will start with New Mexico. New Mexico is a very um, monochromatic place. The buildings are one tone, shades of that. It's like this little, just brown. It's like this dusty brown. and. Um, and so you would see monochromatic looks as opposed to uh, mixing um, colors and cross-referencing color palettes. And um, so that's one of the inspirations. And then the second would be the season change. I love where you have to accommodate a coat, even if you're not wearing it, wearing it as almost a show. And so I, I always appreciate the fall for what it brings to um, the year. Also the winter, of course, it's glitz, it's fabulous, it's luxury. What does fashion mean to you as a developing fashion designer? Fashion means purpose. Okay, can you tell us some of your favorite designers? My favorite designer... Um, they vary from season to season. You know, sometimes it would be um, a product, and then it would be it would change um, to Da Vinci or um, Tom Ford. It varies. Um, I don't really pay attention to them. Um, I observe them um, as far as the technique they use, um, the edit, um, and their story. Thank <laughs> you.